my people go. We must, we must continue. As you can see, that's how police have to look in a Western world, not in Nigeria. You can see that everything is on point, neat, classic, and um, they understand the fundamental rights of people. So uh, we we want the police of Nigeria to also emerge from these people that you have the right to protest. It's, it's a fundamental right that nobody can deny you. And um, I'm sending the signal, I'm sending the message also to the president of Nigeria to see how police vehicle have to look. You see how police have to look. You have to look neat. But I think because of the dirtiness of Nigerian police, uh, it makes them to be very wicked. Very, very wicked. But we hold them no apology. Our people want to be free. That's all I can tell you. You can see the police are more than. You can see the Abortan. It's not to kill, it's to protect people. Police is your friend, but in Nigeria, police is actually your enemy. Uh, it's very sad. Very, very sad. You can see. Uh, thank you very much, my brother. Thank you for your work. You can see that's the police armor tank over there. But um, nobody's harassing anybody. Nobody's beating anybody. Uh, they understand the fundamental rights of people not to harass you not to beat you if you feel like to ask them questions they will come out and answer you any question you throw to them Nigerian government must understand we don't do hey we must continue. We are right here and uh, we are making our case known to the whole world. And uh, believe you me, we are right at Israel Embassy. Let me quickly go close so that comrades we understand exactly where we are. Our case must be known to the whole world. All we want is opportunity to decide how we want to live. Nigerian government have been maltreating us. Our people have been mapped out for total extermination. But we are letting them know that we must be free whether they like it or not so we have arrived israel embassy and our case must be known to them in fact they know they know it's only that the world have pretend as if they don't know but we must remind them we must be free whether they like it or not and the, the president of nigeria who i don't even know whether he's a robot or uh, uh, let me not say that let me not say much but our 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 people must be free our people must be free 
We are here. And um, once again, great dear friends all over the world, friends and lovers of freedom, dark South African police, and you can see how clean the police vehicle is looking. You can see the police personnel, how they are looking. Uh, and uh, at times, you will begin to ask yourself, are we not in the same Africa with these people? But when you look at the, the, the attire for Nigerian police and the army, one may begin to ask, did God actually cause them? Nigerian police, it's not actually protecting life. What they do, they have to exterminate life. But we are here to tell them enough is enough. And they will. What's in a Welcome. Very good. We must continue. He said, the hidden nation in Africa calling for referendum. We are not calling for war. All we want it's our right to live as a people. That's all. <laughs> Buhari must obey court order. We are making it known to the whole world that the president of Nigeria and all the security apparatus of Nigeria must obey the court order. The competent court of appeal in Abuja, Nigeria granted the leader of indigenous people of the Afra freedom and Nigerian government have refused in totality to allow him go. The federal government of Nigeria must obey the court order. We are sending the warning to the president and we are making it known to them that they must, whether they like it or not, obey the court order. I don't see the reason why Nigeria will make law and break their own law in their own court with their own chief judge. It's something that I can't just understand. In other country, when the competent court gave a judgment, the government of other country will obey it, but not in Nigeria. And um, it, it's something that I don't understand. You make a law, and you are breaking your own law. I am saying that the president 
of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. We are live here in Israel in Baxi, and we are making it known to them that Nigeria must obey court order. Uh, I repeat, Nigeria must obey court order. On 13th of October 2022, the competent court of appeal sitting in Abuja gave a judgment ordering Nigerian government to free Mazen Nandekanu, the leader of indigenous people of Yafra. But the attorney of federation have refused to do that. So we are here to make it known to the world that we are peaceful people. We don't want war. All we ask is opportunity to live as a people. All we want is Nigeria to allow us to live as indigenous people of Biafra. We don't want war. We don't want to kill anybody. We don't want anyone to kill us. Nigerian government still hold us apology. In 1967, Nigerian government killed over 5 million children through what they called food brokerage. Until that, Nigerian government with their security apparatus still killing my people. I want to tell them that whether they like it or not, the Nigerian government must obey court order. Over 5 million children died on what they called Nigerian Biafran Civil War as a result of what they called food brokerage. Until then, Nigerian government is still busy killing our people. So I thank you. Nigerian government must obey court order. Whether they like it or not, they must obey court order. Biafra! Biafra! We are pleading to all our leaders in Africa to please save humanity. We are pleading that they may obey the court order and allow Mazen Nandekano to be free. That's all we ask for. And I don't think it's a bad thing to do. Our right so great, we have friends all over the world. We have arrived the embassy of Israel. And uh, you can see we are waiting for them to come and receive us. And uh, I believe any moment from now, the ambassador himself may step out to come and receive indigenous people of the Abra. We are peaceful people. And um, we will never allow Nigerian government to provoke us to war. We don't want to go to war again. They have killed us enough. From 1967 till 70, Nigerian government killed over 5 million people. But we are still here. And um, Biafra will, will emerge, whether they like it or not. I will tell you the truth. Before Elohim 
Chukwo Kikabia and Mahole say, have a Whether they like it or not, Biafra will march. It, it, it's ordained. So, whether they like it or not. I said whether they like it or not, the Afro will come. 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 The Afro will, will, will come. Whether they like it or not. Apple.